Pharrell Williams becomes the chief brand officer for Doodles, a viral video and connected Bored Apes spinoff starts a larger discussion on the internet, while Eminem's performance at Ape Fest in New York City had the crowd going bananas. My name is DZ. This is your Friday NFT news wrap up. Let's get it. Proud owner of 13 Grammys and music superstar Pharrell Williams announced on Wednesday at NFT NYC that he has teamed up with the Blue Chip Project Doodles as their chief brand ambassador and is also a member of the Doodle Board. Cryptobriefing.com reports that in a pre-recorded video message at the event, Pharrell stated, when the Doodle teams presented its vision for business, I was immediately all in. This is without a doubt very bullish news for Doodles and their community, given what Pharrell will bring to the table. Not to mention the spike in activity the project has already seen over the past seven days, with the floor well above 14 Ethereum. The music icon will not only help direct Doodles' approach to reaching new demographics through an array of different artistic mediums, but Pharrell will also be an executive producer on Doodles' themed music album that will be released by Columbia Records. The album will be called Doodles Record Volume 1, and is considering it says Volume 1 in the name, that implies that Pharrell and Doodles will work hand in hand together for many albums and years to come. Very curious to see what they come up with in the studio. I'll be getting that one. Considering how touchy the next story is, know that we tried our very best to approach this from a non-biased standpoint and to just deliver the facts. Internet artist Ryder Rips created a recontextualized version of the Board Ape Yacht Club that looks almost identical to the original release, except Ryder removed certain imagery in his version that he perceives to be racist and offensive. The RRBAYC project has already been removed from OpenSea for a violation of trademark, but it is still available on X2Y2 with the floor of 0.33 ETH. In the RRBAYC bio, there's a link to GordonGoner.com, which is the name of one of the original members of the Board 8 founders, but Ryder chose this name to be the name of the website because he believes it to be an offensive anagram. The website itself created months ago is an explanation on why the Yacht Club uses racist esoteric imagery embedded with neo-Nazi dog whistles as a nod to the alt-right and 4chan culture. Writer's reimagination of the apes picked up serious steam four days ago when a popular YouTube creator, Fillion, released an hour-long video titled Bored Ape Nazi Club. Fillion's video backs Ryder Rip's claims and is a deep dive on exploration of the background of the Yacht Club creators, why all the imagery is on purpose, why the celebrities involved committed fraud, and why you should burn your board ape and buy Ryder's version instead. The Jewish, Turkish, Pakistani, and Cuban founders have since came out and called those claims ridiculous. Is the Board Ape Yacht Club ironically the biggest troll in internet history, or is Ryder Rips trying to gain clout off another copycat project by repackaging it in a controversy? If you don't know, Ryder Rips already reimagined the CryptoPunks, calling them Crypto Funks, and they face left instead of right. Political pun intended. While the internet exploded this week arguing over who is right or wrong about the esoteric imagery, or if the whole thing was a publicity stunt, ApeFest raged on for four days at Pier 17 in New York City. This exciting event was sponsored by Polygon. It was exclusive for the Bored Ape and the Mutant Ape holders and their plus one. The festival featured artists such as Little Baby, Future, and The Roots. On the original flyer, the performer for the Thursday night performance was blacked out. After many rumors and speculation on who it could be, it was none other than Snoop DLWG and the rap god himself, Eminem. They performed a new single together titled From the D to the LBC, featuring Bored Apes on the artwork. And with Snoop and Slim Shady involved heavily in the NFT culture, it's hard for me to believe that they're on the outside of an inside joke. And if that is the case, I can't wait to hear Eminem's diss track to Ryder Rips. That's all I got, and be blessed. It's easy out.